Sky News Centre at seven. Details of the extent of Jimmy Savile's abuse have been revealed in the most comprehensive reports yet. 28 different hospitals have published the results of their inquiries, which include accusations of Savile acting unacceptably with dead bodies at Leeds General Infirmary. Liz Ducks is a lawyer representing many of his victims. She says it's unbelievable that people didn't know what was going on. It's not good enough to say these were different cultural times, there was an aura of naivety, he had this great celebrity status and nor do we feel that it's good enough to say senior management didn't know. Liverpool striker Luis Suarez has been hit with a four-month ban from all football for biting at the World Cup. He's also been handed a nine-game suspension from internationals. Uruguay's FA is going to appeal. The former News of the World boss Rebecca Brooks has spoken publicly for the first time since being acquitted of phone hacking charges. She made a statement and answered a few questions alongside her husband Charlie. She says she feels vindicated by the unanimous verdicts. I'd like to say it's been a time of reflection uh, for me. I've learned some valuable lessons and hopefully I'm the wiser for it. New guidelines suggest we should be consuming around half the current recommended amount of sugar. The advice, which says adults should be having no more than eight teaspoonfuls a day, will now be considered by the Department of Health. Meanwhile, the government's chief obesity advisor is asking parents to only give their children water with their meals to stop them getting fat. Only one British player remains in the singles draws at Wimbledon. Heather Watson wasn't able to follow Andy Murray into the third round after losing in three sets to nine seed Angelique Kerber. Germany have beaten the USA 1-0 in the final set of Group G games at the World Cup. However, both sides are into the last 16. A late Cristiano Ronaldo goal saw Portugal beat Ghana 2-1, but it wasn't enough for them to qualify. That's the latest. I'm Emma Jones. This is WFM 97.2. Hi, I'm Ken Stansfield, and you're listening to the Unedited Audio Experience with Sandra Schufferbottom. Enjoy. It's Sanders Show. Thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, suck you, rice off. Right, good evening, yay, and welcome once again to my part of your day. And on today's show, where's that gone? Stop it. Um, I forgot I've got um, hmm. oh I've got I want to say hello to um, a Jason and an Andy because they're tuning in tonight and I've got the letter Z is on my Mrs. Rise QI and it's 1981 in Memories with Mancini and Tony Wilson just for change is on my Blue Plaque Trail and I've got lots of the latest UFO sightings and a bit of chat on crop circles and much more but before all that, I'm going to do what I always do. And here's my brother, yay! Wonder 
You're listening to Sandra's show on fabulous WFM Radio. Turn it up now. And if you've not even got it switched on, switch your radio on now. Or you're going to miss Sandra's shuffle bottom show. Uh, uh. All right. Off we go. Right, so it's Zed, and it's Mr. Rice QI, and it's Zatig. And a Zatig is a buxom actress. And a Zaying is the seventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And Zabra is a small Spanish sailing vessel. And Zakuska is hors d'oeuvres or snack. Zamara is sheepskin jacket. Well, my one of them. Zambra is a Spanish dance, and a zap, zapta is flowing, drooping moustache. A zatch, oh, female genitalia. Zel, zelatrix, older nun in charge of disciplining younger nuns. Zendik, uh, magician. Heretic, heretic magician. Okay. Zo is a cross between a yak and a cow. Zone, um, zone strippy. Delusion that one is an animal. Oh, okay then. Zygnomic, legally supported constraints on human freedom. Oh, well, you're a weirdo. Right, so now, what am I going to do now? I'm going to play a tune um, that I've never, ever, ever, ever played.
never played that tune before, and I'll never play it again. Because uh, if it's slow enough than that, what I remembered it being like. Right, it's just I'd never played uh, Brian Feller. I thought I'd play him. So I've done it now. Right, so we're in 1981, and the subterranean Sarawak chamber is discovered in Borneo. And Greece enters the European community, which later becomes the European Union. And the US and Iran sign an agreement to release 52 American hostages after 14 months of captivity. The first DeLorean car rolls off the production line in Northern Ireland. Australia withdraw recognition of the Pol Pot regime in Cambodia. And the very first London Marathon starts with 7,500 runners. And Ronald Reagan is shot in the chest in Washington. Two police officers and a press secretary were also wounded. Books fizz win the Eurovision with Making Your Mind Up. And the Space Shuttle Columbia is launched. The Brixton Moss Side. Toxtus and Chapel Town riots happen. And I watched them on the teller. Because I wasn't living in Manchester in 1981. And the rock band Yes split up. Bobby Sands dies aged 27 on hunger strike in the Maze prison. And Pope John Paul II gets shot but lives. Francois Mitterrand becomes the French Socialist President. And Peter Sutcliffe is sentenced to life imprisonment for 13 murders and 7 attempted murders. The disease AIDS is first recognised and Israel aircraft bombs Beirut. A worldwide television audience of over 700 million people watched Charles and Diana get married. In America, MTV is launched and South African troops invade Angola. France abolishes capital punishment. And Simon and Garfunkel do a free gig in Central Park in front of half a million people. The Boeing 767 makes its first uh, flight. Yeah, and Ronald Reagan becomes the US president. Eric Clapton is in a car crash in Washington. Paul McCartney's wings split up. Ringo marries Barbara back in London. London. Oh, what's it like? You all know the Bobby Moore. It's got to go completely before I can bring it back. Right? Cuba suffers a major outbreak of dengue fever. Yeah, burst that year. All the Church of England allow female priests. And burst. Jimmy Lee, Elish Keys, Elijah Wood, Justin Timberlake, Ralph Little, Paris Hilton, Jessica Alba. Oh, Alba. Craig David, Zara Phillips, Jade Goodey, Fern Cotton, Nicole Ritchie, Suzanne Shaw, Sean Wright Phillips, Sarah Harding, and Britney Spears. And deaths with John Lennon. Wow, you know exactly where you are when you remember something. I was in bed. Uh, not in Manchester. And uh, someone came and said, Oh, John Lennon's been shot. Oh, he's, oh, he's horrible. Bill Ailey, Bobby Sands, Bill Shankly, Natalie Wood, Mike Bloomfield, and Bob Marley. And Torvald Deal win the European Ice Dancing Championships. Liverpool Football Club win the European Cup, 1-0 against Real Madrid. Next was born. Mohamed Ali retires with 55 wins and 5 defeats. The first US test tube uh, baby is born. Uh, song 9 to 5, Sheena Easton, yeah, that was uh, big. Suzanne Vega composes Tom's Diner in a restaurant in New York. Ozzy Osbourne bites the head off a dove. Phil Collins releases a solo album, I remember that. And bands that year were Adam and the Ants, Shaking Stevens, Buzz Cox, The Knack, Steely Dan, and Depeche Mode. And on the tally, we were watching Danger Mouse, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Heidi High, Blankety Blank, Only Fields and Horses, Terry and Jean, and I being served. Films, Shot of Fire, Porky's, Cannibal Run, The Evil Dead, For Your Eyes Only, and Escape from New York, and An American Wolf in London. That was a top film. And the average house price was 24,188 quid. And petrol was £1.32. And, uh, yeah, inflation was 11.9. And Maggie did like this word, and we all remember it, and it's privatisation. Right now, I'm going to play, uh, I think, is Doobie Brothers. Yeah.
Peter Sanders show on fabulous WFM radio. Turn it up now. And if you've not even got it switched on, switch your radio on now. Or you're going to miss Sandra Shuffle Bottom Show. It's Sandra Show. Thank you. Oh, who are the people in the neighborhood? In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood, say, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet each day. Well, the day after Tony Wilson died in 2007, I was out in the rain on Hilton Street, just past a coffee pot, and I was box popping for a radio assignment. And there wasn't many people about, as you can imagine, but would you believe it? The first block of stops only knew him. Uh, albeit vaguely, but he'd seen him only days before he passed, sat in a, a cafe window in town. He said he smiled and waved and gave him the thumbs up, and then came in sense of August. I remember laughing out loud when he heard Tony say on Grenard Reports, Get cancer, everybody loves you. His dry man Kenyon wit never left him. I knew so many people that made out they didn't like him, but I know someone that did, that didn't have a bad word for him. They only ever had good things to say about him. He'd give young girls a lift home after the Russell Club and went right out of his way. He didn't have to do that. One bloke I worked with as a telly extra told me how Tony, who he didn't know, knocks on his door in the middle of the night asking to lend his guitar because he was just down the road recording some band and the strings had snapped. Tony just somehow knew how to sort it out. Tony was born on the 20th of February 1950 at Hope Hospital in Salford. The family moved to Marple when he was young, but he came back to Salford to be skilled. He passed his 11 plus and went to the De La Salle Grammar School and eventually finished his education with a degree in English from the Jesus College, Cambridge. In 1971, he started at ITN as a trainee reporter, but soon returned to his roots in 1973 when he landed himself a job at Granada as a presenter, as well as becoming the main anchor on Granada Reports and a load of other programmes, too many to mention. When he wasn't busy working, he was a club owner and a band promoter. This man likes music. Well, he loved music. After seeing a punk band called the Sex Pistols at the Lesser Free Trade Hall, he booked them to be on one of his shows. For them, as you say, the rest is history. He was instrumental in the whole Manchester scene, as well as being co-owner of the most famous club in the world. As well as having a family by now, his work, managing the Russell Club in Hume for a time, promoting bands, he co-founded Factory Records with members of a band called New Order. Along with New Order, he bought a rundown warehouse on Whitworth Street, turned it into a nightclub, called it the Hacienda, and changed the world. Every ride comes to an end, and factory records and the club folded in early 90s, leaving a lot of good memories behind. Tony famously never made any money, so after developing cancer in 2007 and finding out he had to pay for his drugs, a group of Tony's closest friends clubbed together to pay the bill. During a hospital stay, Tony wrote an open love letter to the NHS. It was printed in the Manchester Evening News, thanking all the staff at the Manchester Royal Infirmary for all their kindness and care. On the 10th of August 2007, Tony's sick of give up and he died of a heart attack. He's been given a posthumous honour by the council by being on the roll call, his name being very proudly etched to Alex Ferguson. Of course, Tony was a red, all the smart manks are. The, tw the films, 24 Hour Party People and Control, are in a big part down to Tony. The event he co-founded in the city still happens yearly. Mr Manchester changed minds, changed laws and changed the world. Hurry up. Come on.
Hey, and I wasn't going to play um, that one. I wanted to play um, She's Lost Control because that I played that for um, a bloke called Jason. And uh, he said he'd be listening tonight and said, Oh, well, I'll play you with Tony Wilson and I'll play you She's Lost Control. But I couldn't find it, so I thought, Oh, I'll uh, have the next one down. So that's why I played that for you. So now, run for UFOs. And um, what's happened? Well, UFO June 19th, uh, 2014, published on YouTube by Jesse Chavez. Um, and I can't remember what it was about, but never mind. Uh, May the 12th, somewhere in Jamaica, uh, diamond or cone shaped object, motionless in the night sky, lit by a full moon. Uh, YouTube vid, UFO fleet. In the blue sky, June 22nd, 2014, afternoon. That was good. YouTube triangle. UFO slowly passes over Putney, London, UK, 13th June, 2014. Yeah, that was alright as well. YouTube, another YouTube vid. UFO arrives on Mars, Curiosity, NASA, June 23, 2014. I can't remember what that one was about. Devon, 12th of June, 11.15pm. Helen Goodwin was sitting outside, put my glasses on, sitting outside, when he noticed a bright light travelling at a constant speed, transit, um, transit in our atmosphere. Okay. It lit up clouds, it dipped right, and then returned to its original path. It's definitely a UFO. He said it was just having a bimble. I've never heard that word. Just having a bimble over planet Earth. Oh, bimble. And he gets it done, he's just having a butcher's. Nunny, 18th of June, 11.03. Matt, while he was putting rubbish out, saw two different lights um, at first, and then others, red in colour, same speed, triangle-shaped formation. We're all 17th of June, 1pm. Jay and Joel were watching a plane when they noticed an object flying alongside the plane and then into the, the contrail and then the clouds and then another plane came along and the orb did the same thing and it was flying about all over different speeds watched it for about 20 minutes only had his iPhone on him so um, the iPhone wouldn't pick it up um, and him and his mate he said we were speechless oh I bet he was proper freaked well 20 minutes he's watching it for oh is it gone no it's not gone is it yeah Anyway, New Market, 7th of June, 10.40. Jordan was having a cig outside when he watched a moving light crossing the sky at a steady speed. Too bright and fast to be a satellite and he couldn't identify the object. A retired um, officer known as Captain K, K-A-Y-E, uh, says, this is a bit wild, he spent 17 years on Mars protecting five human colonies from Martians. And he says that uh, the space fleet was run by a multinational organisation called the Earth Defence Force. And he was trained to fly three different space fighters, trained on a base on the moon and Saturn's moon of Titan. And he mentions uh, Donald Rumsfeld. Um, and that was in the mirror completely wild crazy story but hmm, sounds true uh, superb UFO over Sirocco, New Mexico June the 8th 2014, I think that's a YouTube vid and there's a piece in in the paper, it was called um, Spooky Surprise in Dune Din Skies uh, 25th of June and there's a bloke called uh, Terence uh, he took he just took a lot of pictures um, and on well I think a couple of them is a uh, UFO yeah, it's a typical UFO round saucer shape uh, yeah oh and I've got to done some writing in a place that I shouldn't have done it oh flipping it right so now I'm going to do what I always do at this time of day I'm going to play just a Mike Sexton um, and and um, Jason Cleese, he likes it. It's merely in sex. Hello, baby. Take me to your 
Carolina. just gabbing to our tracer so it's all gone off on it yeah all gone a bit peak song it's my old fault took me out of the ball right so there's um crop circles now and there's uh, a labyrinth at a uh, hod hill in serbia and france and the parachute uh, red collie saying um could someone be parachuting in maybe uh, re in Lom- Lom- Lombardy Lombardy anyway it's somewhere in Italy 21st of June only ground shots uh, so I couldn't really see it very well and my mate Red's not put anything another one in Ponticurone something another one in Italy Alexandria Ale- Alessandria 20th of June it looks like a a rotor blade for all the world it's a it's a rotor blade uh, Gypsy Lane, Chilcombe Down, Hampshire, 6th of June. My mate Red said it's a bit of Morse code that says E N. Oh, it says T E T N U S. And it's four times U with E T. U R D E T. So you say it fast, it's like U with E T. We're with, you know what I mean? I mean, us and E T sort of thing anyway red collie has uh, always seen the code 139 in one of the formations <clears throat> I just don't know uh, oh cheers for that Trace which one it was because it seen 192 didn't it in that um, Chihuahua crop circle uh, yeah and he found, he's found 139 now whatever 139 means I have no idea and now I'm going to play a Banging tune um, from uh, Donna Summer, and I've heard it for ages. Major, major, major tune. Major. Oh no, you go away. Yeah, there it is. I hope it gets a bit louder.
Hi, I'm Ken Stansfield, and you're listening to the Unedited Audio Experience with Sandra Schufferbottom. Enjoy. There we go. And you know what, Jason, I just found she's lost control. But I'm not playing it. Uh, I might play it next week. But, um, yeah, anyway, stay with me. Sandra Shufflebottom. WFM 97.2 and all that. And what did I find before? I found something before, didn't know that I shouldn't have been where I found it. And where it was. Where is it now? Oh dear, I've lost it again. Well, let me just tell you that three former British ambassadors have have asked the question: Should Tony Blair be sacked as the Middle East peace envoy? Of course, he should. Uh, Tony says the 2003 invasion is n- is not to blame for the Iraq crisis. Oh, y- you'd have to walk me through that one, Tony. It's everything to do... Oh, my God, it's unreal. Um, oh, when he started with all that shoulder-to-shoulder nonsense. Oh, I can't stand him. Can't stand him. Stop talking about him. Right, Major General Albert uh, Stubblebine, his head of intelligence, says the Pentagon wasn't hit by uh, the plane. Uh, the World Trade Center 7 was brought down with uh, explosives. We know. Um, it's good that he's coming out with it, you know, people like him. He's saying that all buildings uh, fell with explosives. We know. Um, Dick Cheney, he's been chatting about terrorist attack, um, far deadlier than 9-11 um, on a, a radio show um, over there in the US. Now, why would he do that, you know? He said he's uh, before the end of the decade. How on earth would he know unless he planned it like 9-11? You know, same, same thing, innit? Oh, I'm getting annoyed. I was born and raised down in Alabama on a farm way back up in the woods. I was so ragged that folks used to call me Patches. Papa used to tease me about it, cause deep down inside he was hurt cause he'd done all he could. My papa was a great old man. I can see him with a shovel in his hand. See, education he never had. It won us when the times got bad The little money from the crops he raised Barely paid the bills we made Oh, life had beat him down to the ground When he tried to get up, life would beat him back down One day, Papa called me to his high bed Put his hands on my shoulder, then in tears he said He said, Patches, I'm depending on your son To pull the family through Papa passed away I became a man that day So I told mama I was gonna quit school But she said that was daddy's strictest rule So every morning before I went to school I fed the chickens and I chopped wood too Sometimes I felt that I couldn't go on I wanted to leave just run away from home But I would remember what my daddy said With tears in his eyes on his dying bed He said, Patches, I'm your bad Washed all the crops away And at the age of 13 I thought I was carrying the weight of the whole world on my shoulders And you know, mama knew what I was going going through through, Cause every every day day I had to work in the fields Cause that's the only only way we got our meals See, I was was the the oldest of the family And everybody was depending on me Every night I heard my mama pray Lord, give me strength to make another day
Friday. Yeah, it is lovely. Lovely, jubbly and all that. Right, uh, what's next? Maybe a last time for that? Maybe. Right, so, uh, see, this is going to annoy me now, so it's just as well I've got that tune lined up. Oh, and I did want to play that one, because for, uh, for some strange reason. Because there's a bit of poor weather on it, right? Um, before I just saw this awful woman um, in the US, I'm sorry about this, Mike Sexton, uh, out there in Cincinnati. Yeah, there's a woman called uh, Janine Pirro, something like that. Uh, she's awful, awful, dreadful woman. She's calling for more bombing uh, in Iraq. And I only know about her because I was, I was watching Russell Brand's Trues. Uh, oh, it's awful. Uh, she, he's called Fox News a uh, fanatical terrorist propaganda organisation. Well, they are. And she is also a, a very, very sick woman. Um, she blamed, uh, she's blaming Obama for, like, everything. <laughs> everything. Uh, she calls Iran the devil. Oh, she's a complete weirdo. Absolute weirdo. Get off your teller. She's awful. George Osborne has created more tax loopholes than is closed. And apparently I just read before that Michael Grove, for some, some reason, don't know, don't know, no idea why, is giving, giving, not, not even selling, is giving the skills away. Giving our skills away. Okay. Uh, 
lay, lay, lay. Tune. I love that tune. Two bits. Right, and I've got to go in a minute. But before I go, oh no, where's me the one? Oh, um, I wanted to tell you that, um, Wonga. Wonga have been given the, um, Tory party donations. And um, I should imagine that most of you know, but in case, you know, there's a Somebody that doesn't know, uh, who owns Wonga? Have a guess. Uh, the Queen. The Queen owns Wonga. If you don't believe me, just Google it. Right. So the Queen's been giving the Tory party. Well, it is a uh, nephew, isn't it? It's is a nephew that's running the country. Yeah. So she's been giving him money. Oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. Why do I do it? Why do I? Why me? So I don't know. How I do it. Uh, this isn't too bad. Alzheimer's is caused by loss of cannabinoids, the study shows. It did say it doesn't mean that you've all got to go out and, like, you know, start smoking and eating whatever cannabis to get your cannabinoids. But, you know, you can if you want. President, and this is lovely, and this is I'm going to end on this because I love this guy. I want this bloke. I, I wish he could come and rule in, in this country because he's lovely. He's the president of Uruguay. And it's called Jose Majica. And it's been photographed sitting in a, in a hospital, a public A&E waiting room, just like everyone else. You know, you'd never... You wouldn't dream of seeing Cameron in an, an NHS A&E waiting room, would you? You'd only be there for, like, a photo opportunity or something. But, oh, God. You know, anything nice to say in this book. Right, let me just tell you... I hate ending on bad stuff. Let me just tell you there. Uh, some professions in need of a union. And Henry the Henry the Eighth employed a groom of the stool who was required to wipe the royal anus. Can you believe that? Oh, he couldn't even be bothered to wipe his own bum after he'd been to the toilet. I, w I wonder if the Queen, I wonder if she sacked that off. Oh, she still has it done. Uh, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh has employed human fly traps. It was smeared with ass's milk and made to stand in a corner of the room. Oh, that's cruel, that. That's proper evil, isn't it? The Diamond Company de Beers once employed security guards to undertake fingertip searches through the, uh, the feces of their fellow employees to make sure they weren't taking their work home with them. Oh, I can't read any more of that. Flipping egg. Right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play out with that one because I do like that tune. Right, I'm gonna go. So come back next week and feed yourself and all that. And I'm gonna play out with a, a tune called um, uh, Pandora. It's from a film called Nil by Mouth. See you next week. It's WFM 97.2. Yeah.